I can't not do it. I've got you. All right. Good to see you, friend. Bye. <laughs> okay, I love that you can do that. That's some very stupid shit. Woo! That's good stuff. That's the real shit. Also, for Kirk Spruce. Asking for a Nick Nug. Welcome, Kirk Spruce. You thought that I missed it. I didn't. I was just thinking about the mission a little bit. So, Nicholas Cage was report widely reported that he hired a voodoo priest to uncurse the set of Sorcerer's Apprentice. But it wasn't true. Nick Cage had to go on record saying, I ain't like that, and uh, that media should fact check better. He gave that man a new fetish. Always leave them wanting more. <laughs> Crew boy. Impact frame, weapon mod. So what is that? Got 30 Illyrium. 20 Intel. Oh, we got the 30 uh, Illyrium from the... I wonder which one we got it from, actually, from the project status. The glad handling. No, that had to be money. That was money. The square was once full of shops, selling the kind of things that don't matter anymore. Advent converted to housing during the occupation. City Council decided to put a modern spin on an old idea. Check it out if you need old world memorabilia, sectoid kibble, <laughs> and five kinds of pants on short notice. Oh boy, sectoid kibble. It's worse than we feared. Sacred Coil is breeding a new strain of chrysalids. Oh boy, five extra years ago, lobster! The town massacre killed thousands. We can't let history repeat itself. Don't we get, but we just get tasty, tasty chrysalids. Maybe, maybe they just want to get the tastiest lobster, the tastiest alien bug monster. Reports confirm significant unrest in City 31. Without the city's trust, Reclamation cannot investigate effectively. Anything we can do about that? Results can earn back the public trust. We're here to keep the city safe, so there's no better way than doing just that. The city council has approved Reclamation's use of field teams. This will keep a lid on unrest, but with community support, they can do much more. Levitation? Nice. Huh. All alert or aggressive enemy behaviors. So that's during the breach. I see. Yeah, during breach, specifically. Got it. Neat. Earned 85 credits. I feel like now we might want to do training and get rid of that scar on Torque. I think I'm going to do that. Man Man Oreo with Cat's Roulette! Oh, baby! Look at that! Aww. Cute little kitty cat. Well done. Nailed it. Unrest rising. District unrest is how you can tell bad things are getting on the streets. Makes missions harder as it rises and fills up the of bad city anarchy. Ultimate measure of City 31 stability. Fail the campaign if we fuck it up.
please build a field team in any district before starting? Interesting. Is that... that's here then? No, what? Build a field team. Are we just... oh, are we not... we're missing somebody? You know, oh no, you can now build a field team. District field team so we control district events and generate resources. We got one for your field team to get started. Okay. Security, finance, technology, each is focused on different resources. So we want to control this resource. Income value and unlock our effects. So Intel increases the prices you build and upgrade more field teams at the same time. Sure. Intel and 15 credits for Tenerium. Alright, alright. So basically, like the satellites in the other games. Great field teams for interiors, interiors unlocked by a project in the assembly. Right. Vigilance ability is ready immediately, which can lower the interest of target district. There's a lot of this then. Okay. Quarantine, freeze it. Gain extra situation rewards, so we get extra rewards for our missions. That's not what I meant to do. Or major crimes task force. We do city anarchy, and that means that we get a field team in every district. Got it. Okay. Oh, we can select any district even though our field team is in the switchyard. Huh. Okay. Situation target to reveal a scavenger market has appeared on the map. Situation okay. There, I see. Scavenger market is like XCOM supply, but the items it offers are a lot rarer and more powerful. It's available one day at a time. Ah, uh, okay. So we could go to the black market and get shit. Or we could do the mission. Hmm. If we do that, then we're gonna raise unrest. do this. We'll see. We've got a bun bunch of credits, right? We've been doing a lot to do that. And we complete modular armor. So, scavenge. Hello, Chimera Squad. I'm the proprietor of the Viper's Nest. Uh, I don't expect that voice from that face. The fringe. As I'm sure you know, dangerous tech from the advent days still turns up. From time she to sounds time. a lot friendlier than her face. Well to anyone who turns it over. So I hire a network of scavengers to find this stuff. Oh, and I occasionally hear of opportunities that may interest you. If I do, I'll be in touch. Intel rules. Ah, so she actually takes Intel. Interesting. Open today only. Motile inducer. Artificially stimulate the nervous system, allowing an agent to act rapidly under pressure. Mmm, the good drugs. Gain two actions immediately. <sighs> That's pretty cool. Advanced laser sight. Man, a critical hit chance though. Targeting system probably better.
gains two actions? Holy shit. Yeah, I mean, you gain a whole turn, is basically what that is. It's not two turns, it's two actions. So uh, that's like a normal full turn, which is good. I mean, that's real good, even. Does cost 80. It still sounds nuts. It it does seem like a lot, yes. It's something that... It probably gets used, though, right? Like, we buy it, we use it once, then it's gone, I would guess. Like a med kit? Or though, no, med kits are... I mean, they didn't expire in the last one. I'm gonna buy it. Fuck it. I wanna know. Screw it. I'm curious. Anakin and rest changed... Now we can get extra padding and stuff too. Extra padding, one HP. Adaptable passive ability. I can use vent reach points. So what does that mean for adaptable? Yeah, it's, oh, I'm sure it's one use per mission, yeah, but everything else seems not truly consumable, yeah. Plus 50 dodge seems like a bit. Is that better or worse than extra padding? Probably better. I mean, what, it, what does dodge exactly mean, though? Is that percentage, or is that, like... Each 10 dodge is 1%. Like, that could easily be it. Because it doesn't actually say, like, you get a 50% chance to dodge shots. I doubt that it would be that much. Like, how much does it actually lower it in effect? I don't know. That's definitely a thing that we have to think about. I don't know it. I'm gonna buy one anyway. I'm really curious about what the adaptable ability is. Alright, you know what? Fine. There you go. You want me to do it, game? I'll do it! It's not- yeah, it can't be percentage. I don't know what the calculation is. All in on everything. Also, Brown the Destroyer, Cat's Roulette! You got yourself, aww, cute little boy there. Aww. Look at him. He's so. Um, he's very. He's showing a lot of teeth. Armor, enhanced armor. Cost 70 Illyrium in 8 rounds. Okay. Enhanced armor upgrade. That would be nice. Improve field teams. It can be upgraded to rank 2. I don't really care about the androids yet. They haven't seemed like a thing I've needed to use so far. Improved field team seems good. I'm gonna do it. Or at least worthwhile. Put it that way. What am I still waiting? Like. Okay, I've looked. Now. There. Okay, it's gone. Good. Mission tech support. Rogue server, but it is heavily guarded. If we detach it from the network, we may be sent to the destination. So yeah, we can actually wait on these for a while. Difficult. If we can wait on that for a while and do a bunch of other things to get intel and such. Continue to upgrade stuff.
Maybe it's aim minus dodge times hidden value equals hit chance. I think it's something like that crazy. Yeah, I think it's a penalty to aim. I just don't know exactly how it calculates. We'll find out. See how much of a difference it makes. <sighs> really low on everything now. We spend a lot on that round. I think that we might want to do one of these side missions, actually. And that's on... Oh, that's on cooldown. Okay. That's so weird how it's exactly the same as the agent abilities. Kind of nice, I guess, because it does give like. Function. If authorized by the director, you may need to neutralize a hostile leader. Subduing your target is always preferred. Enemy leadership, if captured, provides valuable intel. Anyways, it does provide like a through line on the gameplay. So I still have no idea what adaptable is. Can it show me what that is somewhere? No. Hmm. Maybe if I view him in the armory now? Maybe. Fucking clue. Does it help menu in the pause? Maybe. View XCOM handbook. Oh, okay. Field team ability dragnet. Armor mods, XCOM supply, equipping agents, uh, tactical agent abilities? Nope. Status facts mental, etc., etc. Team up turns and moving, no. Doesn't seem like it has it. That is a. That's a decision to to do. Yeah. That sure, uh, hmm. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that particular system to look through things. Is Torque's ventability adaptable? Maybe? I don't know, it says grants the adaptable ability and then they can move through vents. So it makes it sound like it's two separate things, but maybe that means that that's what it is. They can go through vents. So I don't know. Nope, oh, let's do this. Yeah, like, gains the adaptable, and this agent can use vent, bre vent breach points. Maybe that that's what adaptable means. Maybe it's kind of two bullet points underneath each other. It's weird, anyway. Alright. Bird. This is terminal. Terminal, I'm not going to give any extra body armor. Give her a modal inducer, though. kind of like that. I like giving her that modal inducer. And this one, Burge has seven health, we'll give him more. And Godmother, we will give Mockweave. And we can test out a bunch of things. We haven't seen this impact for Amulet. 
damage of subdue attacks. Ah, okay. Upgrading subdue damage. Sure. Shotgun is four to six damage. I think we might just give these. Right, on all of them not assigned to the APC. Good, good, good. Because I want to have, like, the, uh, Frank rounds. Shotgun gets clip size of three, so let's give her the auto loader. Hey, Teach You. Yeah, if you want, you can just click on the name in chat. Apparently, you have never followed. <laughs> so, I don't know. Good to see you anyways, Tichun. Get a chair of the impact frame? Sure. Wait. Oh, you can't put it on a pistol. Sure. I mean, that would act... That does make perfect sense. I just find it interesting. Can go on a submachine gun, though. Alright. Sure. There's a lot in this game, and a lot that's not explained, that's for sure. I'm liking it, though. It's... It's an XCOM, and I wanted another XCOM. Confirmed. So I'm I'm just glad to have another XCOM. Overseer closely watched. So enemies deal plus one damage during the breach. Last unit through this entrance automatically activates Overwatch. Only the last one, okay. So damage during the breach. Impact frame makes the bongs better. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I want. I want to do extra bongs. Yeah, the struggle that we just had with adaptable, and we still don't know what that fucking means, is very XCOM. Yeah. So I'll have Cherub go through this last. I think we'll just put one person through that. Actually. We could put Cherub through this one and go into Phalanx, but then it makes them all attack. Hold up. So the way that that works is it's only for that breach, right? It's only for the people on that breach. So all the side, they might just attack everybody coming through the side door then. I think how that works actually. Hmm. That does mean though that we could send Cherub through here and just Phalanx. Have everybody come behind and do just one breach. Oh, can you change the order of the breaches? Yes. Yeah, yeah. This is now the first one to breach. Yep. You absolutely can do that. Who do we want on Overwatch? Verge is probably not a bad idea. I think it's gonna be Verge. Reaching in. Only one thing that's aggressive. Uh, that. I don't even know if that. I didn't mean to hit anything. I guess that we did it. I don't know if we did it or not. Or if he just went for the cover rush. Shit. I was gonna look at that. Uh, oh. Damn. Alright, now they're dead. And you can. 
can levitate, but that doesn't really matter now. Because that's only for the breach. So yeah, having them be last is interesting. I feel like you did it because of the shield noises, yeah. Yeah, okay, immune. Good. That's what we want. All good. There's our VIP. Bring the target down. Full cover here, huh? I mean, I guess I could go here. Actually, I do still get to see them from there. That might not be a bad idea. And I can also throw out kinetic shields from here pretty well. first. Sure. I hate androids. I should be able to full cover behind the kinetic shield, right? Eh? Eh? Maybe not. You hate androids and guardians. They kind of suck ass right now, yeah. Oh, that's the prisoner? Oh, so wait, can we accidentally just murder the prisoner? How much damage is that blowing up android deal again? I feel like it's only like two or three. Not that we can actually kill it anyway, but just a thought. question mark there and I can't do anything about it. God. There's some very hidden things that I don't like right now. Feels like they're hiding a lot of info. Terminal can heal. On the move. I'm here if you need me. Fuck. Does F1 still give more info? Oh, I haven't actually checked. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Reinforcements now. Well, that seems good. Not that I can see. SSJ, how you doing? Alright, 
Alright, chill down. Next out. Okay, we need... And I wasn't saying the question mark about this one. I was saying the question mark here on, like, Verge and stuff. Like, there's a question mark that we can't click. Because I see chat was asking about that. That's not what I was saying. How am I finding this game? Liking it so far. Show them how you feel. They went some battle madness. That. Have I missed any 98% shots yet? Not we any 98%, but yeah. I wish we could shoot that prisoner. I don't know if we have to stop them from getting somewhere. Yeah, okay, we gotta stop them from getting there. I see. Okay, so I definitely need to do something about that. Oops. Hey, thank you for the follow, The Ed. Appreciate it very much. And hey, if anybody else isn't following yet, you know what you can do? Helps me out, it's free. No, this game's good. Uh, I mean, I, I got this game for free. I will absolutely say that. It costs more than the 10 US dollars this game currently costs to buy my loyalty. <laughs> there is a lot of XCOM bullshit. It, put it this way, if you liked new XCOM, you will probably like this. If you did not like new XCOM, you will probably not like this in any way, because it is exactly new XCOM. It's got some changes on the formula for sure, like, no question, it's, I don't want to suggest that it's exactly the same game. But, um, it's not not exactly the same game. Armored up. There is a lot of the same thing. Figured, yeah. That was a good idea. Oh, Berserk's removed. Shit. Okay. Ooh, somehow missed. Get the hell out of there. Do we have the extra bonk? Can we tell if we have the extra bonk? Yes, we do. Okay. Let's doink this, man. Hot All right. Subdued. Doinked. Cool. Bonk. That is very satisfying. It was a very good bonk, yeah. But no, this this game is, I mean, like, look at the way the map's laid out, like, all the cover things. There's so much of it that is absolutely XCOM 1 and 2, like, the new COM games, right? Like, it's very, very, very similar. A lot of the strategy level stuff is different, but the tactics map level stuff doesn't feel like it's very different so far. That's not a knock against it. I liked the tactics from the first couple games. There were some things that could be improved, and I think they've done some some quality of life improvements. I mean, we're not super far in yet. I definitely see some issues still. Nice. The percentages often lied in the last game, and I don't know that they're doing the same thing here. Like, there was some... And I don't mean that as, like, a conspiracy thing. There's just some, like, hidden effects sometimes. It kind of feels... Oh, hello. I guess I didn't want to do that yet. Um... The, tacti the maps themselves are interesting, I think, most of the time. I mean, a lot of shipyards and things, but I do think there's some cool stuff going on with that. Is that another android? Is it? 
Oh, that's an android. Okay. And then this one, the guardian's going next. So I could. What am I odds to hit guardian? 44. Yeah, and it's got that anyway. Um, if I do battle madness, I think we can still attack our team, is my guess. It just says it attacks the most, like the closest unit, so I don't know that battle madness is always the way to go. Your thoughts are mine. The breach. Oh, one of the things they did change is the breach stuff, and that fucking stuff fucking rules. The breach stuff is really cool. Yeah, they do have the typical camera where you can't don't. Yeah, where it's looking at something that you can't even see, like the, like. You run up to go and hit somebody, and then the camera goes behind the building, and you can't see anything. You just see a blank wall while it does a close-up shot of something. That happens a lot, still. That's a problem in, like, this game, in Battletech, and, like, pretty much all these tactics games. Camera is absolute toilets, yeah. I don't know why that's a thing in all these games, but it totally is. Always is. Probably, I guess that it just always will be. Don't want the answer to whether Battle Madness will make them attack our own units. Uh, yeah, actually I do want it on that one. Okay, so when he says max charge, he does mean it. She is not good at this, low cover and shrouded, yeah. That's just high cover. Damn. Battle Madness is safe. Okay. The way that it's worded suggests that that's not the case, so that's kind of why I wanted to check on that one. I go there. I don't know that thing's gonna be able to flank us in time, actually. It'll still Moving. be safe to go here. Me. Good move. Okay. Th th thanks. Can those low on blow up? Actually, I have an interesting question there. Huh? Is that a thing that can happen? Ammunition restored. Wait, who said that? That was Verge. Verge was being a very helpful boy. Verge nailed dribble line delivery. Yeah, that was a little bit of a gribble. <laughs> yes. Now that's protection. And Cherub's just glad to be here, I guess. Or he's doing an ad read? I... something like that. Cherub's got a sponsorship. Man, that kinetic shield is super important. I kind of can't imagine doing missions without it. I'm running low. Still have a shot left. Oh come on! I mean that was only a 70, but oh I needed it. We go where we must. Fuck. Do not resist. Good shooting. And was nearly out. Terminal's the one with the high impact bonks, right? Yes. And stay Clunk. down.
Oh wait, I couldn't s Oh my god, I couldn't see anybody from here. Well, that's stupid. Um, I might move up terminal then. Yep. I want her to heal Verge. I will hunker down. Or I could go into Overwatch. Try and stop that bot from exploding on somebody. That not be a bad idea. This thing is nearly empty. Excited to bring in four cops that's skilled in the art of whack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a good way of putting it. Clonk! Another call. Hey, Rachel! I'm liking the game a lot so far. It's been very good. Alright. Well, oh, fuck. Maybe should have run back more. No. Damn it, didn't stop it. Oh. Wounded, lightly wounded, unarmed. Alright, alright. An excellent mission rating, so seems good. Yeah, you get to set Overwatch angles now, Beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm liking this game a lot. Um, you figured it was a cash grab when you saw the trailer? Did you? I didn't feel like that. I... I feel like Firaxis has its problems as a game company. Like, it's not like a perfect company or anything, but I, I never felt like Firaxis was screwing us in any way. I, I liked both of the last games. I don't, I don't know. I didn't feel like they would do that. I guess 2K would, which is the da the uh, publisher, but yeah. I, I feel more like 2K would, that's fair. Well, I mean, it was an obvious, wasn't it obvious that an attempt to maximize profits, like minimal new assets and such? Sure, but like, Gain, do, building a new XCOM from the ground up is a lot, and War of the Chosen, which was a huge expansion, did only come out three years ago, and you might be like, well, that's three years, that's a, like, that's not that long to do a very big video game, and this is, like, a lot less money, um, like, obviously it was meant to be smaller in scope, I, I think that it was more than okay. Yeah, they did spend a lot of time in the mechanics, I, I didn't feel like that was a cash grabby kind of thing. Minimal new assets, but it's also only $10. Yeah, exactly. Like, I feel like they balance that out a lot. Like, that was the big thing, is that if you had said, like, I, I would 100% have thought the same thing to uh, Rachel, if it was, like, still a $60 game or something. But, like, then it's, $10 now and $20 later is so fucking minimal that I was like, oh man, like, no, this is just sweet. Okay, we needed Illyrium right now because we wanted to do... Oh, that's for research projects, right. We want to get more Illyrium because then that'll let us have the better armor. That's what I was remembering for Illyrium. Only 20. Alright. I want to throw in God Mom. Ah, new recruit! Fuck yes. Good, good, good. Ah, damn. Cherub is scarred. What's the scar? Oh, unlock a new agent first. Zephyr. Close quarters, high mobility. Flame blow. Agent punches an enemy and inflicts one of several status effects. Effect is either disarm, disorient, stun, or root. Cannot miss and will trigger momentum. Let's toward an enemy in melee attacks and active breach. What does momentum mean? What does momentum mean? 
Yeah, if Firaxis just kept releasing games like this instead of $60 giant games, I'd be down. I'd be much, much, much happier, And honestly, I would say. I, I like the idea of these small tactics games a lot more than, like, a big 40, uh, like, 40-hour 40 kind of game. I'm hoping this is only, like, 20 hours. I want this to be smaller. Do you open new characters? Yes, right now. Yes, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, did I? Yeah, yeah. Definitely a smaller team and less dev time. Momentum is a minor mechanic that's ever unique to her. They need to do a better job of explaining some of this shit. You never bought the other games because you didn't think you'd, you'd ever play it enough to make the $60 plus DLC to make it worth it. Yeah. Momentum's a free move. Okay. God, I kind of like, like, that fearless advance, like, blitzing through on a breach, just pummeling something that's alert is kind of amazing. Kind of like Punch Cop. Psionics, ally buff, mental attacks. Can't be your weapon, but it will be your shield. I mean, you have a gun! It seems like you'll still be a weapon. So I can swap position targeted enemy or ally. Okay. Launches a psionic blast that disorients all enemies in range movement. Hmm. Kind of amazing. I don't exactly know what Disoriented does. I think less aim. Explosives, AoE, breaching. There's never a red wire. <laughs> Lucky if there's even wires. Okay, I like this person. So, that does kind of make me wish that we actually had to disarm bombs and you needed specific agents for it in a way. Or like there was some kind of mini mechanic around that. That's easy to fuck up, I guess, to you, but just that saying makes me want this person to actually have to do it. It's supposed to detonate after several turns, so it not deal damage. Cut to cover and can be targeted to detonate early. Not end the turn if it's used in the first action. Claymore, Zephyr, Shelter. Who do I want? I kind of like Zephyr. Claymore has some of the best mini scenes. God damn it. Yeah, Zephyr's got two guns. Or even three. Left arm, right arm, and <laughs> go bomb guy. Oh, I don't know. Is Zephyr really just punch man? Yes. Well, punch person. Punch person. Field agent. So that is generator. Sorry, I was looking, I was just trying to see where it was popping up and it's down there. Uh, gains one charge to the end of each encounter. Okay. So as we go between rooms, then you can just start with a charge. End of turn, gain plus one armor, a half cover bonus, even if blank, can become half. Interesting. Is that just a passive? Or like free action? Doesn't look like it is. It is a passive? Okay, if that's a passive, that's crazy good. Can confirm it's passive. Alright. That's the thing it... That's just the thing that they do at the end of turn, it's nuts. Okay, cool. Yes, I would like to learn guard then, because that does seem absolutely nuts.
Oh, can I not upgrade her because she's on a mission? Or... I, I missed that pop-up. I wasn't paying attention. I kind of clicked through it. I guess she has to train? Or I... I don't know. Huh. Interesting. Pin down. Huh. Yeah. So we move them down the timeline. Or... Takes enough damage to begin bleeding out. They are instead reduced to 1 HP and immediately enters stasis for a turn. When used for a mission. That seems way better. God, sustain looks crazy good. Yeah, it might have been... Oh, maybe you're right. Maybe it was her... Uh... Yeah, she's a deputy agent, so maybe that's what it was. Maybe it was just that it was unlocking this. So just the alpha strike. Fires a shotgun during the breach and will take their turn. Earlier on the timeline. Also gains one bonus action on their first turn. That's cool. Okay. So yeah, I think that's what it was. I think you're correct. Sustain seems better than pin down. These abilities all seem really good. Zephyr, you made it! Which yeah. is great. You grab a locker? Yep. Have everything you need? Yeah. Good talk. No. <laughs> I feel like Whisper is getting shit on a lot for no real reason. Or maybe for a lot of reasons, but I don't know. The agent, nobody seems to like Zephyr. Or Zephyr, Whisper. Can confirm, pin down is mediocre at best. Sustain looks insane. HP increased by two. I don't know about that. Not for terminal. Maybe for like twerk. I guess it does make terminal an absolute tank that can be on the front line. But twerk? Binding an enemy makes her a real big target and kind of stuck, if that makes sense. Like, kind of just want to do this. Oh, wait, but Cherub has a scar, doesn't he? What's his scar? Forgot about that. Got to go here, I guess. So how does that work? Scar is hobbled. Mobility reduced by three. That seems bad. That seems real bad. Go to physio, friend. Critical mission must be completed today. Okay. Proof field teams for 25 Illyrium. Which we're already on. Okay. Alright. Let's pull in Torque. Where are we going? We're in the place again. We're still on four turns cooldown for vigilance. Yeah. Is there a way to... Can we buy field teams at any point? Yeah, we can. All right. Cool. So I could actually just buy another field team right now. No more at rank three. Requires a field team in every disc. I feel like I've been doing a good job of knocking people out to get more intel, so maybe I'll go for Illyrium or Credits. Meow. 
Hi, buddy. Come on, you can come up. Hey, Zinc. And it's Thursday, so payday is tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Oh, buddy. Good boy. Cat cam. Hi, bud. No. Mm -hmm. Good one. Mm hmm. Thank you. It's very nice kisses. We're gonna go technology. Ow. Don't bite. No, no biting. Oh. Oh, that's a good boy. Oh. You like rough pets, my dude. Like, I feel like I have to give him a noogie. He pushes in so hard, he forces me to do it. That's a good boy. Alright, be better. There you go. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah. Sorry. Very important time. Of all the places to have a secret lab under the site of the Bumtown Massacre. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, sewers. I don't think we can really buy anything. We only have 30 uh, credits still, right? Yeah. Oh my god, Zephyr literally only punches. That... I love it. Literally punch person. Okay. You just got a lot better. Kinda feel like dodge or extra HP is good on punch, friend. Also feels like they're the one that would carry a breaching charge. That just feels like in character to give the punch person. Could actually give them the modal inducer too. Do lots of punching. That seems like a pretty good idea. Unavailable to this class. So I think that that's just what she already has. Uh. Let's do that. I still don't know what adaptable does. It hasn't actually said anything anywhere. I'm gonna give adaptable to terminal. Do the three to weave there. And then we're gonna go on torque, we're gonna give extra HP. Gotta protect snake friend. They're gonna need submachine gun. Who's got the lowest amount of ammo here? Sure, it's fine. Let's do that. Put it on here. Trank rounds, trank rounds. Uh, actually, since they've got the impact frame, we should take out trank rounds on there. Sorry. Please take a moment. Even better, no prisoners. Zephyr's punches are lethal, not knockout. Ah, okay. It makes perfect sense that that's the case, because of course, like, it would be really, really, really overpowered. Otherwise, can I give her Trank Rounds? No, they don't have any changes. 
I wonder if there's like a way to get some training on that, maybe. Out of curiosity, momentum, immune to root, and gain. Oh, immune to root, too. Gains an additional move action after using the crippling blow. The immune to root is amazing. It wasn't until that upgrade until you realized that she was doing a murder. Oh, there, there isn't a, a knockout. That's an early upgrade. Okay. A bug town squatter found a sacred coil lab a little, in the sewer. Little spoilery. And when he saw, they're scared. It's all right. Nice try, Whisper. I'm not going for the obvious joke. That one's kind of okay, but your chat's ability to recognize what's okay and what isn't isn't really a hundred percent. And even mine isn't because, like, sometimes those kinds of things they can lead to weird situations where, like, I don't realize it and then I murder somebody and I'm like. Holy shit! Like, and it just ends up being a really funny moment. So sometimes not spoiling those things is better, right? Like, I can ruin a good moment. Immune to root is very abusable. It seems like it is, yes. Blasting you through this entrance is guaranteed to land their shot. So we bring in the double guns, right? Maybe not. Deal minus one damage. Have somebody be marked. I wish they would tell us, like... So what does mark mean? Right? Like... What... What mean? And that, I... Yeah. I don't know. It's just kind of obnoxious. Yeah, I assume it's like less dodge. That's one I'd actually like to know. Zephyr and Terminal. Who do I want to go in? Maybe we'll send in Terminal first. Zephyr. Have the main door be Torque and Verge. Verge has the Tranquilizer shots and Sol Rifles. She's got the most damage. So I think it's that makes go time. sense. Oh yeah, Zephyr's unique combat is gonna be fun to explore. Thank you for allowing me to do that. I appreciate it. Nice, fuck them up. Purifier, huh? Can't do toxic creating. I guess purifiers are immune? Interesting. Purifiers and androids. Probably because they're in like a fire suit kind of thing. Could have gone after the turret. Probably should have. So Zephyr doesn't get to do a punch. In the start, unless maybe unless they're close enough that she can run up and do it. I mean, it makes sense. Either disarmed, disoriented, stunned, or rooted. Man, there ain't no one anywhere near close enough. I guess that's why we have the modal inducer on this character. Run up and punch Purifier. Punching Android seems less than ideal since it explodes. 
Hey, Avion! Good to see you. We will become Big Fisto, yes. I thought it was only on self. And I just did it on automatic. Well. Cool, great. Um, back behind something, I guess. Could go here, but oh my god, then it's gonna be able to see me. Yeah, right there's fine, I suppose. Shit. Did we get rid of the turret? Okay, we did. So if that's the case, it makes sense to pull the purifier. Nice. So now. Just go to sleep. Nighttime. Ah, Zephyr's already floating. Holy shit, Zephyr! Zephyr has become too powerful! They've ascended! this place. <laughs> I really, I fucked up that modal thing too, so now I even don't have that ready for anything. All units through this entrance gain plus 50 dodge. First unit through this entrance gain plus one armor. Okay, that seems like Zephyr. Do good punching. Be able to run up and hit somebody, please. So he's plus 50 defense, plus 50 dodge, better than plus 25 defense. Hmm. Who knows? I think we'll just go through the one door. We could have Terminal do... Can she do her action through the door? There we go. Oh, there we go. We can do a breach fire. We can do a refresh. I see. So we can assign their action there. Ah. Interesting. Okay. Healing up by two might be a good idea. Counter two of three. Time to move. That doesn't look do so it. bad. Yeah, fearless advance. This was an enemy and melee attack from after the breach. Ooh. Oh man, punch the turret. damage do we deal? I have no idea. Let's find out. Yeah, come on! Alright. Deunate this lid. Seems like we get the things that are like our alert, maybe. It's 
in low cover. I could just levitate that. Hey, common cold. Good to see you. God, there's so many things you can do. So that showed that we could make the neonate unconscious? I find that very interesting. So can we like interview chrysalids? Huh. Because it kind of felt like they were bug monsters that wouldn't really do that. Okay, there's crippling blow and subdue. That makes sense too. I not. Oh, there we go. Okay. Go punch them. I know that's a kill, but I just wanted to do it. Moment to move. So now we can move again. Which actually means we can get really close to there. That's Why would you pick that as a spot for cover? Should have realized that that android needed to be taken down, I guess. Guardian is, or Commando's next. Give them the battle madness. Granting true freedom. Everybody's getting pretty lit up, huh? Gotta get moving. Be quick about it. Good. Need to stop that android. Oh my god. We are leaving everything at one hell again and again and again and again. Oh man. It is brutal. Demolishing. Damn. We don't want to go there because she's gonna get blown up on. The amount of times we've left something at one health has been too much. Fuck. Bird is down. Yep. Don't sleep on the job. Come oh. On, wake up. Great. That's. Hmm. So that seems bad. I have been a minor fuck up throughout this. Oh my god. I am like so done with this. Doesn't end the turn, right? Oh, I think it does if it misses, though. It is a higher percentage, though. Sure. I've got you. Putting 
Okay, I'm gonna assume, yeah, now we just stabilize everyone. So, chrysalids in the sewer. Oh, not for long. Flurry reinforcements, yep. We... I may select up two androids, so do I... Okay. Is that... Did I... Did I do that? Can we brought in to reinforce the squad under so, we'll not five folks an agent. Because where's the emergency equipment? Okay, yeah, I can just throw them in. Secure entrance. There are fewer aggressive enemies present in this entrance. The best for last. The last few of the guaranteed to a shot. So, we need a key card. Available? Oh, is it just because she has the ability because she's got the drone? That might be the case. Scanners. Entering through here marks your units until we enter the camera. She can do this entrance slot there to make the card. Oh. Guess that's the way we do it. Open sesame. Need me to get the door? Go in the robot. Fuck. Probably best to try and get somebody to back and kill. Which of course we don't do! Oh my god! <sighs> okay, we actually took down one thing. Jesus. I feel like it might be a cover rush. as soon as you have it. That is a lot of enemies. Which is impact. Wow, that'll actually... I kind of like subduing the commando though because it gives better cover being right here, I think. Another collar for the medic. That's the problem with not in the android though. Mm-hmm. We left everything at one again. It's incredible. Just incredible. Like, man, that fucking sucks. God, I think Black Guardian. Better to be in full cover, Covering though. ground. Don't stop. Nah, we won't be in the... ...cover properly. There, just three. Get on the turret. We can 
just try and take out the neonate pistol at least. Hmm. What difficulty is this? Uh, the hard, not impossible, but. There's the one after impossible. What is it? Expert. So not easy. I mean, at this point, we know that android's gonna blow up, I feel like. Try and kill that instead. Gonna do it. Not a lot I can do about it. Oh, wow, it did hit. It did count as hitting that far out? Oh, wow, I didn't think it would get both. Mm. Calling a straggler. Feels like a big ramp up from normal. Yeah. Reaction. I mean, am I stupid? Well, that did nothing. Door. That did nothing. Okay. Yeah. I, sorry. The free action. I can't do it after shooting, though. That ends the turn. I I knew that. I was going to. Thankfully, it didn't matter. cover. Like, this is an android, but I don't necessarily need to just lose it. I mean, at least draw it away from things. I can also get a pretty good shot on that now. Still, taking the turret out might be better. Odds are low, because I've never dealt five damage, for fuck's sake. But, sure. Oh my god! I did it. You disagree with that self-destruct not hitting the Guardian, too? Yeah. It's not wonderful. Guardian exactly next. No commandos next. That one. I just kind of want to bind again if I can. That would require me taking this commando out, though. Fuck. I can do a large bonk, but not enough of a large bonk. I could just team up and pull somebody up here. Like... A safeguard. Moving, cover me. I need cover though. Need a little help? Closing a door. I can go here and then bind, right? So then I still have cover, but I get the guardian, which is the one that I care about. Okay, we've got a weird animation bug going again. Huh. Yeah, there really are a few of those. Defense. 
It doesn't matter if I move closer here, really. Don't think so, anyways. Don't sleep on the job. Shut up, Tort. We need to um Okay, I yeah, so we'll never get that back. Let's get your insides back inside. Nobody asked for your help. There's some problems that we're running into right now. Oh my god. Please hit something. Own. Okay, sure. That's fine. Jesus. We are really missing every shot, too. We missed like three or four seventy percenters in a row. Ah, fuck. Yeah. We're just missing everything. It's bad. I keep forgetting this can be used like every turn. Infinitely. It's really good. Man, this is some bullshit though. Just how many times we've missed has been awful. Take this down, but then we're just standing in the middle of nowhere with our tits out. Great. Right. Oh my god. Shouldn't have bothered. Oh my god. Please. Oh my god, we were missed. I wish you can bind chrysalids. That seems like it would be ill advised. Sorry, Tork. I have a very, very, very important thing to do. And that is to end this mission because Jesus Christ, we're getting chewed up. We need, uh, like, a five at some point, somewhere, please. Just, like, a good roll. Just once. Shrouding us again is actually helpful. Yeah, okay, we cannot buy in chrysalids. Kind of love that. We can 100% subdue a chrysalid, though. Bonk. Ow. He's got the dodge. This thing is nearly empty. Ammo's nearly out. Oh my god, we still have to dash, so I can't do anything else. Oh man, this is not easy. These are rough. Why is it red? Why is safeguard red? I don't know, I guess we'll find out. Like the last one or? Nothing beyond our reach. Purging impurity. Huh. Weird. Oh my god, we've been playing this for like five hours and I haven't even... It hasn't felt like that at all. Not even a little bit.
figured it would be three damage. It's always three. It does not seem at all like it's an even amount of. Uh, this thing is nearly empty. Like that, there's an even chance across the board for the damage. Like, definitely doesn't seem like you can be. Uh, that's where evac is. Jesus. It seems like three is a much, 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 much higher chance than four or five. Like we are only dealing threes. Bonk time. Preparation also. We've hit basically only threes. I haven't. I have seen one or two fives in the whole game. Other than that, it's been only threes. We've seen like out of all the turns we've had, there's been like, oh my god, there's been about like three or four uh, non threes. Period. This thing is nearly empty. One shot left. We need to get the fuck out, but... I also need to heal our friends along the way, or we can't really do anything. Um... Wouldn't be a chrysalid missing without an endless tie to jerks. Yeah. Gremlin on the way. I didn't ask for this. Yeah, it's a huge inconvenience to be kept alive. Poor Tork and her miserable Watch existence. I mean, I guess. Oh my god. Ammo's nearly out. I know. Oh, I should have. If I had gone here, it probably would have been better actually just to stay shrouded. Nearly out of ammo. Needed the exercise. Eighty-four percent. We just need a four. We don't even need a five. Oh my god, something went right. I feel like at this point, we just take out every chrysalid anyways. Probably not any slower. This thing is nearly empty. Nope, never mind. They are just literally infinite. Okay. I thought there would actually be a Ammo's thing that said, out. like, reinforcements are here. God, I'm wondering about if we just Again. evac twerk. I feel like we're gonna fail if we do this. Oh wait! Right! We 
can also... Forgot about that. This thing is nearly empty. <laughs> Where you're at. Yeah, I, d I don't need to... Yeah, I don't need the back seating necessarily, but yeah, that was the thing that I should have realized right there. Like, right, team up. I hadn't used it. I thought I'd used it on one of the previous ones. Good to see you, by the way, Warrior. Fair. That did not feel fair. Oh. 20 intel from six captures. I guess bug people don't talk much. Holy shit. 